Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going through some multi-choice questions on the second topic of the syllabus, organization of the organism. Uh, we will only be going through five multi-choice questions. If you want access to the full lot, I have, you know, 500 in total with all, you know, covering different topics and arranged in different topics, then just join my Patreon channel. I will give you the link that will grant you access to these multiple choice questions. But otherwise, without further ado, let's go through this first question here. Uh, structures X and Y are both part of the same what? A cell, B organ, C tissue, and D vessel. Hopefully you are aware of what these structures are. X is the palisade mesophyll, which is the main site of photosynthesis, which each of these cells, or palisade mesophyll cells, being adapted for that specific function. We've got Y, which is pointing towards the uh, lower epidermis, which has, of course, the stomata, which is a porous gap-like structure that allows gases to go in and out. Namely, water vapor will go out usually. Carbon dioxide will also, uh, you know, go inwards because carbon dioxide is required for photosynthesis. And oxygen, which is a product of photosynthesis, will leave by diffusion. Uh, most of the gas exchange happens, of course, with diffusion through the stomata. Uh, but that's fairly irrelevant to the question. Uh, the question is testing your knowledge on organization of organisms where uh, X is of course a tissue and so is Y. Uh, and so a group of tissues working together to perform a you know, certain function is of course an organ. So therefore in total X and Y are part of the same organ which is B. So second question, the diagram shows a palisade cell. Which label structures are not found in animal cells? Well, let's actually go through each of these structures because you need to know them. So A is the cytoplasm, uh, which of course holds or, or contains all the different organelles and structures. B is the nucleus containing genetic material. C is the cell membrane, which is a partially permeable structure that allows and controls what goes in and what goes out of the cell. D is the cell wall, which is a... A, a, a tough sort of structure that uh, it gives structural support for the cell and E is the ribosome which is you know mainly involved in protein production F is a permanent vacuole and G is chloroplasts uh, that contain chlorophyll which is of course the site of photosynthesis so if you go through each of these which are the ones that are not present in animal cells well animal cells never have a cell wall so D is certainly amongst one of those uh, animal cells only have a temporary vacuole a permanent vacuole is only present in and uh, in, in plant cells so F is also not present in animal cells and the last one would of course be the chloroplasts structure G because animal cells do not photosynthesize so the answer out of A to D would have been um, the one that uh, you know includes D, F and G which have been B. B is the answer that we're looking for. So third question, which part of a plant root here is partially permeable? And so we briefly looked at the different functions of the different, uh, you know, structures of organelles inside a cell. And uh, A, the cell sap, B, the cell surface membrane, C, the cell vacuole, and D, the cell wall. Uh, for a fact, cell wall is fully permeable. Um, and this really is just testing your knowledge on, you know, cell surface membranes, which is, of course, a partially permeable structure and it has to be partially permeable because it needs to be selective for what goes in and out of the cell and uh, that's vital for a cellular function. So the answer would have been B there. So question four, uh, the diagram shows the lining of the human trachea. Uh, what is present at X in the diagram? So you've obviously got these goblet cells that are arranged in a side-by-side -side fashion. And so they're asking you at point X, so what is sort of going on? Is uh, are the two cells that separated by one cell membrane, one cell wall, two cell membranes, or two cell walls? Well, first of all, this is a human trachea. We know that human cells do not contain any sort of cell walls, so therefore the answer is limited to A and C. Uh, so here, if I sort of just uh, draw out a uh, a diagram, if I can find. If you have two cells side by side, from a microscopic point of view, all that's happening is that this is cell one and this is cell two. So because we know that uh, you know each of these cells have a cell membrane, what's really splitting, well, what's really in between the two cells is of course two cell membranes. 
between the two cells, so uh, the answer here would have been a C. Uh, so last question, cells with high rates of metabolism will have a lot of what? A. Chromosomes, B. Mitochondria, C. Ribosomes, and D. Enzymes. Well, if a cell has a high rate of metabolism, essentially that means that uh, a lot of respiration is taking place because these particular cells need a lot of energy. And uh, we know for a fact that aerobic respiration is what gives cell those energies. For example, if a cell is doing a lot of exercise, for example in legs when we're running and things like that, we'd expect uh, a, a lot of aerobic respiration to happen there. Um, so, you know, the question becomes, where does aerobic respiration happen? You should be really aware that uh, that happens in the mitochondria. So we'd expect that cells with high rates of metabolism have a lot of mitochondria to allow for higher rates of respiration to occur. So therefore, the answer would have been B there. So I hope you got all five questions correct. I will be continuing this series um, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Otherwise, please subscribe to the channel and uh, please join my Patreon channel if you wish and uh, we will see each other next video.